we will continue now with the U Genesis. What is U Genesis? This will be the creation, the formation of the of the ovum, eh, or the egg. And you should know by now that this involves the ovary, okay, the ovary. Uh, however, uh, you should take note that the production of the ovum, okay, does not occur inside the ovary, uh, but the story starts with the ovary. Why? Because we need to start with the with the follicle, okay. And so uh, I've told you that inside the ovary there will be many structure, eh, these small structures known as the follicles, eh, follicles. Uh, initially the follicle is small, and we call these follicles as the primary follicle. Okay, the primary follicle over here. Inside the primary follicle, there should be the early egg, the early egg that we call as the primary oocyte. Okay, and so. Uh, we should start the story a little bit earlier, starting from the embryonic stage, and we start with the primordial germ cell. Okay, so when uh, when the uh, female embryo, okay, uh, is formed, then primordial germ cell will be present inside the ovary of the embryo. Okay, but then the primordial germ cell will undergo the process of differentiation, and this will be produced. This will be producing another structure known as the oogonium. One oogonium, eh, which is diploid, of course, will undergo the process of mitosis. Okay, in which one cell will be producing two, two daughter cells. So one oogonium, undergoing the process of mitosis, will be produce will be producing another oogonium. Okay, will it will be producing another one oogonium. Meanwhile, another cell will be known as the primary oocyte. Okay, the primary oocyte is still diploid. Why? Because there is no meiosis yet. Okay. Uh, however, we can see in this diagram that uh, actually meiosis one has already started. Okay, meiosis one has already started. However, meiosis one will stop during prophase one. When the girl reaches puberty, one primary oocyte will develop. When the primary oocyte uh, continue uh, with the development, meiosis one will be completed. Eh, meiosis one will be completed, and this will be producing two cells over here, in which one of the cell will be known as the secondary oocyte, and another one will be a small cell known as the first polar body. The first polar body will actually degenerate, and you should take note also that the that the second oocyte is now haploid. Why? Because meiosis one has been completed. Okay, and then, and then the second oocyte uh, will be released. Eh, will be released from the from the follicle. Normally, normally when the second oocyte is formed, the follicle also changes, in which Just now we start with the primary follicle, eh, the small follicle over here containing the primary oocyte. But then we can see that the follicle grows bigger, 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 and bigger until finally the big follicle becomes a mature follicle, also known. Eh, the mature follicle is also known as the graphene follicle, the graphene follicle. Okay, so you should know now. That inside the graphene follicle over here will be the secondary oocyte. Okay, meaning that uh, meiosis one has uh, has occurred somewhere here. Okay, and later the graphene follicle will rupture. This will release the secondary oocyte. The secondary oocyte will will uh, will be out from the ovary and it will go into the fallopian tube or the or the oviduct. Okay, why? Uh, because uh, there might be sperm waiting uh, inside the inside the fallopian tube. Okay, so what happens to the second oocyte? If if there is a sperm penetrating the second oocyte, then the second oocyte will continue with meiosis two. Okay, uh, it will continue with meiosis two, in which 
this will be producing the ovum or the female gamete okay and also another small cell known as the second polar body which will also degenerate related to the uh, production of the egg okay uh, will be the female reproductive cycle and there will be two one will be the ovarian cycle and the second one will be the menstrual cycle i will start with the ovarian cycle in which this will uh, will tell us about the development inside the ovary okay the development of the follicle starting from the small primary follicle until it grows bigger 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 until it becomes a mature follicle known as the graafian follicle until the graafian follicle ruptures so this will be about the development of the follicle and then the follicular tissue over here the tissue of the follicle will change will be converted into another structure known as the corpus luteum and we can see that the corpus luteum will will develop and and later uh, it will also disintegrate it will become smaller 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 until until it disappears so this part over here tell about the development of the corpus luteum which also occurring inside the ovary so this development eh, of these two uh, structures the follicles and the corpus luteum will be known as the ovarian cycle okay and we can see that this consists of two phases known as the follicular phase and the second phase will be known as the luteal phase and in between the two phases will be the ovulation Eh, what is ovulation? The release of the secondary oocyte from the ovary. Right? And another cycle will be known as the menstrual cycle. This occurs simultaneously with the ovarian cycle. The menstrual cycle occurs inside the uterus. That is why we can also call this as the, as the uterine cycle. Okay, the cycle that occurs inside the uterus okay and uh, generally when we talk about the menstrual cycle we will be will, we will be uh, referring to the changes in the thickness of the endometrium in the uterus okay what is an endometrium i think i've told you before this that the endometrium will be the layer that lines the inner part of the uterus okay and so uh, this endometrium sometimes can be very thick Sometimes it can vary. It can be thin like this. Okay, uh, so the thickness of the endometrium uh, changes. Okay, at one particular moment, and uh, we can see that this consists of three phases. Phase number one will be the menstrual flow phase. This occurs when the uh, when the tissue of the follicle. No, no, sorry. This occurs when the tissue of the endometrium is being shed off out from the body of the female. Okay, as a result, the endometrium layer will be thin. Okay? It will be thin. Why? Because the endometrium is shed off out from the female body together with the with the blood. Uh, so menstrual flow phase actually refers to the uh, time when blood comes out from the body of this female individual and this will continue with the proliferative phase in which the endometrium will be repaired will be will be taken uh, this is due to the hormone known as estrogen okay and the third phase will be the secretory phase in which we can see that the endometrium is very thick Okay, rich in blood vessels and glands. Uh, that is why uh, secretion can occur. And this phase is known as the secretory phase. And in this particular phase, two hormones will be important. The two hormones will be the estrogens together with progesterone. Right? And, uh, and if there is no uh, pregnancy, if there is no pregnancy, the endometrium will be shed off once again so this will start with another cycle of the of this menstrual cycle this also involves the brain in which 
inside the brain there will be this hypothalamus which will secrete gonadotropin releasing hormone the GnRH the GnRH will be uh, stimulating the anterior pituitary gland and this will secrete two hormones also the FSH and LH just like the males however these two hormones FSH and LH will be released from the brain and it and they will go to the ovary then both of these will go to the ovary what happens inside the ovary the FSH will stimulate the primary follicle and the primary follicle will grow 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 bigger it will become a growing follicle and as the follicle grows the follicle will secrete the estrogens and what happens to the estrogen the estrogen that is produced by the ovary will go to the uterus in which the estrogen will repair the uterus or it will thicken the endometrium of the uterus meanwhile the luteinizing hormone the LH will go to the ovary in which it will uh, stimulate the growing follicle to become mature in which the growing follicle will become the graphian follicle and the LH is also responsible for the ovulation in which due to this LH the graphian follicle will rupture and the secondary oocyte will be released out from the ovary and the LH is also important for the development of the corpus luteum okay and when the corpus luteum is formed the corpus luteum will secrete the two hormones estrogens and progesterone in which these two hormones will go to the uterus the estrogen will continue to thicken the endometrium meanwhile the progesterone will maintain the thickness of the endometrium